Okay, good. Baby, it's crying. That's pretty accurate to every morning. Hi guys, it's Marin from Midwest in Style. We're going to be doing a five minute makeup routine for the moms who are running out the door. We don't have time to spend a whole lot of time putting on makeup in the morning because we're wrangling children, husbands, bags, whatever. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that ahead of time, all of these products can be found at Sephora or the um, Bare Minerals in the Empire Mall. Um, and they're all really helpful when it comes to finding these products. So if you just tell them what you're looking for, um, I do that all the time. I bug them all the time. So be, feel free to do that. Um, with the exception of like two items and I'll point that out as we go along. So let's get started. So I start out by moisturizing my face and then I follow up by doing this naked urban decay skin weightless ultra definition liquid makeup. And I just started using this and I really like it. I have a lot of redness on my face so I kind of need quite a bit of coverage and I just apply it with my fingers because I don't like how much like a sponge soaks up the product so I feel like I use product way faster if I'm using a sponge so I just apply it with my fingers all over my face And I do kind of put a foundation on my lips just because by the time I get ready to put some lip stuff on, I um, have a base and I can just throw some stuff on quickly. And by throw it on quickly, I mean I do it in the car on the way to work. But I'm done. And if I'm gonna make a routine for that step. All right, um, so then I put concealer under my eyeballs because Look a little tired. And I really do this as quickly as possible, all of these steps, simply because you've got five minutes. You're a mom, you've got a kid trying to brush his teeth and mostly just sucking off the toothpaste. So you're trying to multitask along the way. So then I also, oh, sorry. Uh, this is the NARS, um, concealer radiant creamy concealer I love this stuff and I have it in vanilla which I think is the lightest shade and then I just put it kind of in triangles under my eyes and then I use this um, beauty blender to kind of just blend it in and then based on how many hours of sleep I got last night which Blakely was up at least twice last night. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to hide those dark circles. And by try, I really mean try because those bad boys are here to stay. So this is the e.l.f. High definition under eye setting powder and I just put this on over top of my concealer that I just put on to kind of set it and I found that it really does stay way longer if I put this on. This is the one product that you can't find at Sephora or Bare Minerals. I actually found this at the Empire Mall in Old Navy in the checkout line. So, works like a charm. Okay, then I add, I do the Bare Minerals Warmth, and I don't use very much because it can get a little aggressive. Um, just a small amount and just kind of swirl it on your brush. This is the Flawless Face Brush. I have had this one for, I don't even want to know how long, long time. So buy new brushes every once in a while. I did, I have cleaned it before, so that's good. Um, so then I just kind of make a, the shape of a three on my face. So I start up here and then come down under my cheekbone. There's the middle part of a three and then come back down and make the last part of the three under your jawline. And then I kind of just brush it on over here. <laughs> I honestly do this because it creates a little bit of a shadow. 
to contour under your cheekbone, but it also just evens out my red spots right here. So, look is red. So then you just go ahead and make a three on this side of your face also. Gotta make both cheeks even. Okay, so then I use um, this e.l.f. brush, which I also think is in the Old Navy checkout line. Um, and <laughs> this is how you know it's real life, is that I am out of my blush. So I'm using a sample that I got in a package the other day. So this is the NARS blush. I don't know what kind it is. It's from NARS and it's good. Um, it's really pigmented, so you don't need a lot, which is great. And I just kind of, I only really do it on the apples of my cheeks. For the longest time, I didn't need blush because my face was still red. Well, now that I'm over the age of 18, my face is kind of toned down with the redness. Not a lot, but enough that I need blush. And I don't spend a whole lot of time on this because I've got five minutes, people. It's time to go. Okay, so there's my sample. Okay, and then I use this Laura Mercier. I think that's how you say it. Um, this is the loose setting powder. Love this stuff. Um, and mine's broken. Real life. Um, so yeah, hopefully your thing won't break. Um, and then I use this, I think this is a Bare Minerals blood. Uh, blah. I think this is a Bare Minerals brush. Yes, it's the Supreme Finisher. This is another really good brush. And then I just put it all over. I kind of try to avoid my under eyes because I've already set that. And this is really just to set what you've just done. But there's no rhyme or reason. Just get it on your face. Looks good. As long as I leave the house not looking like the Loch Ness Monster, we've done our job. So then this is the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I get the anti-aging one because anything with anti-aging in them, like, okay. Hopefully that works. This is the travel size and I'm like almost out of it. So they do make a larger size. I just don't like big containers because I don't have a whole lot of space to hold my stuff. So I just get the travel size and use it until it's gone and get a new one. And then I just put that all over my eyelids. All right, so now I'm using the as you can see, I have very little eyebrows. Um, this is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. And I've just started using this for like a couple, I'd say a little over a month. And I really like it. Um, and I feel like they have a lot of color options. So you will actually be able to match your hair color, which is kind of a challenge for me because I'm kind of all over the board with Auburn and some serious red every once in a while, but this does a pretty good job of staying true to whatever color I am that month. So I just don't push too hard with this guy because otherwise you get pretty serious brows. We're just gonna connect the dots. As you can tell, I am mostly, I, I'm at the intermediate level with makeup here. And I've been doing my own makeup for, oh, probably 15, 17 years. Still in the e intermediate. That's where I got with piano lessons. Mom made me do piano lessons for mm, most of my childhood. And I never got out of the lesson two book. That's where I'm at with makeup. Okay, so then because I have five minutes, if I have more time, I will spend more time on my eyeshadow, but today we don't. We are running out the door. It's back to school, people. Let's get going. Whoa. So this is the Vanilla Sugar 
um, Bare Minerals eyeshadow. And you kind of got to be careful with how much you use. You don't need a whole lot. Um, and this is just a really old brush. But it's pretty big, which I like because it just covers your whole eyelid. Um, so you just got to brush that on. I So if I don't have time, I just put this vanilla sugar one on here because it looks very similar to my skin tone. So I kind of look like I have eyeshadow on when I'm running late, but not really. But at least it covers up my little veiny things up on my eyelids. If it's date night, I might have time to do some further work on this landscape. Otherwise, just skating by, skating by. Okay, so basically I just covered up and kind of made them all the same color. Usually I'll add like some brown to the outside, but this is the five minute version. Okay, this is the one step that gives me anxiety. This could take five minutes all on its own. You just pray ahead of time it doesn't. Coffee break. Okay, so this is the Stilla Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in intense black. And it gets intense. So, I have a love-hate relationship with liquid eyeliner. For the longest time I just did, um, regular just a pencil eyeliner on both lids now i do the liquid eyeliner on the top lid so that it just it makes i don't know it makes my eyes pop i like it but it's you gotta be careful and that is literally how my wing starts you probably can't see it but real messy and i'm just i'm literally winging it oh god Okay, so I've got the outline of this wing that I do. So I do try to do a winged eyeliner, not every day. If I'm really running behind, I'm like, I don't have time to deal with this. I won't do it, but. <laughs> every time the wing starts as like a normal shorter version, and then as I'm correcting it, it gets longer and longer. So you just gotta, well, it looks pretty good. Okay. But that's why you gotta leave the first one alone, because you know you're gonna have to go back and make it thicker to match this side every time. That went pretty well. It's gonna be a good day. Well, this one's kinda... And at some point you just have to say, it's good because they're never gonna match. They're never gonna match. Just like the socks in my laundry room. Okay, so this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline Eye Pencil. I think the color it says is legend, but just get the really black one. Okay, so I just started using this a couple months ago also, and it is really good for for your waterline. Logical. Um, but it does, like it stays all day, which is nice. And I just put a very thin line along my under eye. And then I use my beauty blender to kind of pull my eyelid down so I don't mess up what I've already done underneath here. But it does do a good job of staying like all day long, which is good because we have five minutes to get ready and we do not have time for touch-ups later. Not happening. I gotta stop looking at my winged eyeliner because I'll fix it and then I'll screw it up and then I'm gonna have to 
that's not gonna be good okay so this is also one other thing that's not available at sephora or um bare minerals this is literally from like walmart but i've used this stuff since high school and i love it i also use three different mascaras in the morning which makes zero sense um but to me it makes it look the best and <laughs> this is really funny i have to share this my son loves to hold these and he will say okay mommy what color do you want next? And I'll be like, the yellow one. <laughs> so it'll give me the yellow one. And so he likes to get involved at this, during this step. So then I put some on the top of my eyelids here, on top of my lashes, I guess, to kind of double side them, make them a little thicker, I think. So I leave my lower lashes to the last part just because if I do my lower lashes right after I've done my top ones, um, I'll get mascara on my eyelids and that's no good. Okay, so this one I just kind of quickly brush over what I just did. I don't go back to the top, like I don't brush them down again. Not really down, but you know what I mean. So this is the Lorac Pro Plus Fiber. I don't know why I use all three of these. I just feel like it does a good job. So then this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then I just, this one's good for separating them, I feel. I don't know. Once again, intermediate level here. Just making it up as I go. So then I go back and do the lower l lashes. Done. Just about. That's real life also, because that's every day. Max yelling at me asking if I'm done getting ready. All right, and that's literally it. That is all I do. And then I go back and do my hair if I have time. Um, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. It's just, like I said, what I do to make sure I don't leave the house looking like I just woke up. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section at the bottom of this post. Um, and like I said before, um, the, all of these products can be found at Bare Minerals or at Sephora in the Empire Mall, other than the exception of the few that I pointed out, um, earlier. So that's the e.l.f and the this colossal volume express maybelline new york mascara so other than that that's all i have and thanks for joining me and enjoying my intermediate level five minute makeup routine for moms as we're running out the door see ya